Welcome everybody to How Fast Will It Go and today we're dealing with the 2018 Audi TT RS. Now this has 1,270 horsepower, 901 pounds feet of torque from a 3.4 litre turbocharged inline 6 engine. The car itself now weighs 2,843 2 pounds, still has its all wheel drive system and it can only 0 to 60 in 2.204 seconds and 0 to 103.843 seconds. So I've not just changed the engine out of this car but I've also ch changed some of the bodywork. So the side skirts and rear bumper have been altered, the spoiler has been removed and the hood has been changed to uh, decrease weight by a little bit. So uh, yeah, they're the... Uh, you know visual changes but they will make a difference because they uh, do reduce either drag or weight and uh, that is always beneficial but yeah this doesn't have a, a massively more power uh, sized engine over the, its original engine it was originally only a two and a half litre inline five so it's only got an extra cylinder and it's got less than a thousand extra cc but obviously it does have more than three times the power and it's got less in the way of weight and aerodynamically it's a lot more slippery i just hope not too much though because yeah, to deal with another 1300 horsepower and the kind of speeds that I'm expecting this to get up to might make this a little bit of a glass cannon. So, uh, yeah, nonetheless, let's get out there and see what it can do. And by glass cannon, I mean hits one kind of speed once and then struggles to ever get there again. We did see that pro prominently in one of the previous Forza Rising games, I think it was with the Jaguar D type. Managed to get to more than 280 and then struggled to ever get close to that again on the one that we had. So, uh, Oh dear. Well, let's see what this can do. So we're already well past its original top speed. One thing we do now to have to contend with is the fact that there's a new speed zone on this uh, motorway. There it is. So, yeah, that does actually make it a little bit easier in some regards because obviously we now have the no traffic to deal with until we hit the end of it, which is helpful. But yeah, we're already well past 270. Oh dear. You have arrived at your destination. See if we can get back up to there again now because we are sliding all over the place. There's 275, 276, 277. Hit 278 will match the second fastest car in this series. Yeah, it is sliding all over the place. Feels like I'm driving on glass. I guess some of the uh, weight that we took out of it might well have been beneficial to keep in. Just to keep the car down. Oh dear. Oh sliding all over the place. Made 279 now. We did hold 279 and we're holding it again now. So yeah, that is the second fastest car that we've had on this series so far. And it's from an Audi of no less, which Typically, I don't find to be all that particularly quick when doing this kind of video. So, uh, yeah, that is massively surprising. And that means it's only 5 mile an hour behind the McLaren F1. Beats the Jaguar Sport XGR15 by 1 mile an hour. Uh, as well as beating the Toyota Celica SSI and the Ferrari J50 by 4 miles an hour. As well as the MG x SVR from the previous episode by 6 miles an hour. So, uh, yeah, that is massively impressive. Granted, the handling is a little bit all over the place, especially when we're getting up to those kind of speeds and dealing with any modicum, kind of like a, a corner or anything like that. So, I would advise putting more weight into it or leaving some weight into it just to keep the car down. Because, yeah, it did feel like it was driving on glass a lot of the time, despite the fact, you know, you've got slick tyres and the tyres themselves are wider. So, uh, yeah, a little bit have a handful in terms of handling but in terms of acceleration and top speed yeah in a class of its own pretty much so uh, yeah really really mightily impressed by this and uh, yeah I was expecting it to be quick because you know 30, nearly 1300 horsepower is hard to uh, argue with but wasn't quite expecting it to be second place nonetheless thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye